Hello and welcome, it is time for the final sprint, the final sprint of the demo. I am off of a great two weeks when I have been actually working on Pixel Art Academy. The game, the demo is playing now exactly the way I want it to, but there was a lot of these sort of bugs and little small things that came up here and there. And so, yeah, so I was just fixing for two weeks. In fact, in my task tracking, uh, software I have created this learn mode demo milestone that's gonna be at the end of the month that's my internal target to release the demo by the end of the month and so yeah this is a non sprint milestone so these are all the things that have to happen to get the demo out but it's not very focused sprint it's just a lot of little small tasks which you can see here, I have them sorted in high, medium and low priority and I've gotten quite a lot of them. But today we will be creating a new sprint that starts today. Let's add a milestone to the timeline. The topic of this sprint will be audio. So I have two weeks to fix up my audio editor. I have internal audio engine that uh, I've already built in the past, but I need to make sure that's gonna support all the ideas I have for the soundscape, for the environment, ambient sounds and some music. So yeah, let's jump ahead in time to the mid sprint update. Well, here we are, a week has passed and uh, things are going well. And here we are in the game as usual, but the new thing is Nothing right now because the sound is off. But if we go in the settings and turn it on, look at this, click, 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 click. So how does this work? Well, here, let's take a look in the audio editor. So I'm using my own custom audio engine built on top of web audio. Here we have, so this is for the menu item components. So this is the graph that is powering the clicks there's a sound, it gets fed into a player, and then when I play here, when a certain thing happens in the game, in this case, when a hover happens on a menu item, you can see how this buffer that's fed in starts vibrating the thing on the bottom. And similarly for the click event. So that's what I have so far. Now it's all about taking all the sounds I recorded today getting them all cleaned up, put into the game, and we'll see where we get at the end of the sprint. Well, the sprint is over. What is different? As you can see, what is different than usual vlog when you hear this music is that this time it's actually coming from the game itself. Yes, the title music, the Kickstarter music made by CJAF uh, is in the game. And that's what starts playing when you come into the game. You can turn it on and off here. Uh, yeah, you can, change, you can change volume up and down. Um, so yeah, there it is. And uh, all of the stuff in the game, not all of it, but a lot of the stuff in the game now has sounds. Uh, let me show you something. This one is my favorite. First of all, when you go start new game, music dies down, you're gonna start hearing the ambience of the studio. There's other people here in the art studio. It asks you to create a new save game. So, devlog. Listen to this. This just makes me so happy. I just instant 90s transportal and it's all dynamically it knows what to uh, you know when you're doing and so when I click OK it stops so here for example I really want the pencil to sound like here uh, so not everything has sounds the low priority stuff that we have on the task list isn't there yet and something that actually showed up is that yeah if a lot of things have sounds but some don't it's actually quite a little bit jarring. So all of this kind of stuff doesn't, that doesn't have sounds, uh, once you get used to everything else having sounds, so for example here, this whole portfolio app, the whole drawing app now has sounds. So when you hover over stuff, there's always feedback. Mm. 
you know, closing folders has feedback, opening this up, and then going in. You can hear things being drawn out. This one introduces a new tool and you get, it's gonna sound different. Because this time the glass came in. And I find that, I don't know, I find it very nice that you can hear which tools are sort of available. And then finally here we have the tray coming up. Now you hear also the tray. Wonderful. Now we're gonna go into one of the loads where I have unlocked more of the stuff. Here we get back to the menu, more music. Let's load again. Let's load. I love these sounds. So yeah, when you unlock Pico 8, Pico 8 is another app that has uh, sounds for almost everything. Like this doesn't have a sound. So yeah, this is low priority on my list, but I really need to put it in because it sounds a little bit awkward. Sound power switch. Well, Pico 8 already had sounds before, but yeah, now all the buttons. And I can just use my keys. And everything is uh, panned, so right now the buttons are coming from the right side. These ones are coming from the left. If you have your headphones on, you could hear this. Everything just feels so tactile all of a sudden. It's amazing. This one doesn't have sound, feels weird. So yeah, uh, this sprint will need to continue. I will need to continue, extend it so that I do put in all the stuff. I think it's gonna be worth it just to have everything. Basically every click should create some sort of sound. And I actually have all the sounds recorded. Here's my big list of uh, things to record. And I just went into the yeah, recording studio and just where I recorded. For example, here are all the button sounds. That's, Steam. Yeah, <laughs> trying the Steam controller. And uh, I think another one, yeah. So, you know, I have a lot of stuff, portfolio, clipboard, uh, dragging. Then I also have, yeah, the assets tools. So yeah, now I gotta finish all the rest of the sounds and then at the end of the week I'm actually gonna be showing the game off at a local convention, sort of a meetup. And we'll see if we can uh, get all the rest of the stuff to release the game on Steam ready in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, you'll find out right here on this channel. Thank you so much. Like the video if you enjoyed this project and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.